Avery, I found it, okay? You don't need to look for it anymore. It's very cute You're with your searchlight and stuff. Yeah. Avery, do you want to feed the snakes? Yeah? Or no? Yeah. No? Yeah, you want to feed the snakes. Uh, so, in our last video, we showed you how not to feed a snake with our hands. How we normally feed a snake is with one of these. I use this as my snake hook. I use this as my snake feeder. And it keeps me safe at all times. And the best part about it, how much was it? I don't know, one to three dollars. Because the dollar store isn't a dollar anymore. So, Selkuth is ready. He is going to be first on the list for today. Selkuth is a Hog Island boa. Rat time. And here we go. Party time. Um. Yeah, was that exciting? Mm. Was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> Next on the list, we have Nova. Nova, to me, is my prettiest snake. She might not be my most valuable. She's also from the very first litter I produced. Let's get a special rat for a special snake. Okay. Holy moly. There we go. So, though these snakes are wonderful, nice, and friendly, and never strike when the rats are around, that's how they can behave. And this is why most of the time, accidents and people getting bit and stuff is around feeding time. It is another reason. ...that you would never want to feed an animal by hand. This snake I've had since she was born. She's totally not aggressive at all. But when it comes feeding time, that's how they behave. Except for Eve. Eve's different though. If you'd like to watch the video of me feeding Eve by hand, click the little thingy that'll pop up somewhere. Yay. Jasmine is a super dwarf reticulated python and she is one of my sweetest animals. But when it comes to feeding time, you gotta be careful. And these snakes like to come jumping out at food. See, she's already there, she's already ready, she knows she's going to be fed. So, let's just go get that and we'll be back. Wonderful. Wait, Avery, stay away. Come, come Avery. Okay, we got a nice one for her. And, actually, we'll get a bigger one. Yeah, don't, don't, don't touch. Okay, come on. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. And we have takedown. She is a fire tiger or a platinum tiger. And this is Leia. I find her to be just a beautiful salmon. She is uh, carrying anery and probably albino genes. But it's funny because she was, to me, the prettiest one from the litter and no one bought her. So I kept her. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's just a yummy treat. Dun 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 dun. Hi, I'm alive. Come and get me. It's not alive, by the way. This is not animal cruelty. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Nice job. And that's that for Leia. Alright, this over here is Theseus. He's my first snake I ever had. And now, just so you see, some people say, Oh, look at the small home you give them. They're so small, they want to be out roaming around. Now, I agree with taking snakes outside, letting them wander around, letting them have everything they need. But the most important thing is that they're kept clean. See how clean this is? Fresh water, 
a place to hide, a place to be warm if they need to be, a place to be cool if they need to be, and having the right humidity. So having them in a home like this is much better than, let's say, putting them in an aquarium where all the humidity comes out and they don't shed properly. So as you see, this is Theseus. He's in great condition. His skin looks great. And he was the first snake I ever got. He's a spider ball python. He's about seven years old. Father to my last clutch. Now let's see with the spider gene if we can flip it over if it has trouble getting back. Well, no. Let's look. See? Oh, that was pretty easy. Okay. Let's see if he has trouble eating for a spider ball python. Lots of the time, Theseus is the one that Avery will be playing with when she's dancing and stuff. You've seen her probably on my Instagram dancing with Theseus around her neck. Mind you, I find boas attack their food much better than ball pythons anyways. But... There we go. So, they eat totally fine. That's Theseus, my first snake. Still doing well after seven years. What I liked about him is I noticed lots of snakes get really dark, and he's a pretty bright spider considering how old he is and everything. He's got a really nice clean pattern, or at least I think so. Anyways, there we go. Okay, so this is Xenon. Xenon's usually a shy eater. She is a champagne. Lots of the time when I give her food, she never takes it. She will wait until I'm gone, and then she will eat it by herself. She's actually probably one of my only private eaters. There's certain snakes that just don't want to eat for you in front of you. They're just like, no. Yeah. Let's see if we get in there. Come on, Xenon. No, see, so I'll leave the food with her and she'll eat it, but she's very shy. So we'll just leave that for her. Well, she will eat it. We'll see. Next up, we have Sonder, originally named Sandy. Turns out, Sandy was a boy. I think he's beautiful. Saunders always been a good eater. This is Darwin. I'm never really scared of my snakes, but when it's feeding time, they know that food is coming. When they know it's feeding time, I am a little bit more cautious because they smell the rats. So, this is Darwin. He is a, I don't even know. He was sold to me as a platinum lesser a long time ago. He was like my second ball python and they said he was a girl, turns out, He's a man, which can happen to you a lot when you buy snakes online, so sometimes it is a lot better to get from a reputable breeder. Avery, go away. So see, he's, he's not a spider ball python, but he already missed twice. I'm telling you, ball pythons have a lot worse aim than boas do, and like you can put it right to their mouth and still sometimes they get excited and strike different ways. Woohoo! See? I literally had to smack him in the face with him. See you later, Darwin. Next up, we're feeding Akira. I had my snake collection before I had my wife, and ever since the wife come, there's very few snakes I'm actually allowed to buy. But Akira is the first snake that Ariel actually allowed me to buy. <laughs> and she is a great eater and very excited to be eating. So there we go, that's Akira. 
She is a beautiful square tail with possibly some cubist pastel. I didn't say that properly, but let's get her something to eat. is my black tail Kribo. She always is hiding as well. Here we go. So, Pearl likes to run away from her food. Ooh. Oh yeah, she smells it. Ooh yeah, come into the light. hard to hold steady and do this, but here we go. Oh. Kribos are pretty fun to watch eat. They really go at it. Okay, see you later, Pearl. Kribos do not constrict, they just grab their food and basically swallow it. Jack is from my first ever clutch of baby ball pythons. He's the only one still here and the one I'm keeping. And he's basically Avery's pet snake and she wants to play with him. But we're feeding and you don't want to get bit, right? You want to get bite? No, no, me neither. We just, we have to, we have to feed them. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, Jack. He's also carrying the spider gene. Do we see a head wobble? Does he seem coherent? Let's see if he can get it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at that. First try. So, non spiders that missed their food like two, three times. And Theseus's dad nailed it the second time. And Jack here, on his first try, got the rat no problem. And actually, like, he seemed to give us the most action out of all the ball pythons so far. Would you look at that? This here is my keeper, Moonglow. I guess I'd like to show her to you. Her name is Luna. I know, it's not original. Everyone names their moon girl Luna. Okay, let's see if we can get a good Luna usually strikes right away. Maybe it's because the camera's nearby. Is she camera shy? Oh well. Sometimes I just touch the nose. Holy moly! There we go, there's a nice one. Yep, yeah, give her a little, there we go. 
You did it. What a good hunter. Oh no, she noticed me. She was like, I don't want to eat while you're watching me. What if you like are up to something? What if like while I eat this, you're gonna like try and get me? Okay. So you see lots of the time snakes are a lot more scared of us than we need to be of them. Just gonna get her to strike it and then we're gonna put it away. There we go. Come on, take two, bonus bite. Oh yeah. Okay. There you go. Take her into your lair and have a good time. See you later. This is Poa. He's the first big bow I ever got. His name is a combination of Paul and Noah. Poa. Um, let's try seeing if we can see him. He's an anery, an adult anery, and father to most of my babies. He is carrying call albino also. Okay. Now, let's see if Poa is going to take a meal. Don't you want me, baby? Don't you want me? Oh, I've been working all night at a cocktail bar. This much is true. Na, 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 na. Don't, don't you want me? I see it in the way when you sit there and don't eat me. Don't, don't you want me? I know that you just want to jump out and eat me. Stop wasting my time. I don't know how to rhyme, but eat me now, cause I'm tasty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, tasty. Mm. Mm. Don't you want me, baby? Don't you want me? Ah. Okay. Hey, look at me, I'm a rat, I'm a rat, I'm a yummy, yummy, oh, I'm a yummy, yummy rat, come on out, come out to play with me, look at me, I can dance, I'm a rat, I'm a rat, and I'm nice and juicy and fat, I'm a nice juicy rat, come and eat me, come and eat me, I'm a nice juicy rat. Dun 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 I am a nice rat dun dun Come on I am nice and fat dun 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 Come taste me right now dun 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 I'm yummy and fat I am a nice rat Come eat me Come taste me I'm a nice big juicy rat Nope Oh come on you're too friendly and nice we want to see you devour the rat. Like Avery like crapped herself and I need to clean that and maybe he smells your human poo and it's just like I'm not in the mood to eat while I smell Avery's poo. Yeah, she's like, how am I supposed to eat in these kind of unsanitary environments? Come on, kiss me, taste me, eat me. I just want to be eaten. What's a rat gotta do, gotta do? What's a rat gotta do to be eaten? What's a rat got to do, got to do? Just come right here and come bite my juicy head. Let's just leave that in there. No, turn around, look at us. Say hi, everybody. Avery, say hi, everybody. Avery. Say hi, everybody. I'm Avery. Hi, everyone. I'm Avery. Oh. Okay, you want to say goodbye to everybody? Say goodbye, everybody. Say bye-bye. Okay, look. See? You can see yourself. Say hello. Don't sit on that. That's not for you. Okay, so this is one of my green tree pythons. When they are young, they are not green, and probably sometime by the end of this year, it'll start turning green. 
Hello, good morning. Oh, here's a nice little rat. Oh, yeah, good. Good snake. There we go. Yum, yum. The green tree pythons have no names because I don't know if they're boys or girls yet. Just so we can see, it's the next morning and Xenon. Okay. See, Xenon has eaten her meal. Say hi. Come on, come on, come on, come on, just say hi. There we go. Let's look at your lovely face. Go into the sunlight. Security cat. Come on, say hello. Let's see if Poe ate his meal. Yep, Poe ate his meal and he's taking a bath. Perfect. See you later.